What's up, YouTube? The Natural. Let's get straight into it, man. I just wanted to talk about Jerron Ennis real quick. That dude is amazing, man, and he's special. He's the future pound-for-pound pound number one king, and just how, man, that dude, just how athletic he is, and I think he is the best, like, at putting his combinations together, how long he is, man, and um, the way he works off the jab. You've seen how he was, like, you know, he would jab upstairs then, jab downstairs, and his reflexes and how he's able to switch from southpaw to orthodox and is fluent. Nothing is forced. He's able to fight off the back foot, and he's accurate. I'm telling you, man, like, this is one of those dudes where, like, it's like, okay, he's going to go down as one of the best fighters ever, you know. And I really do uh, see that dude um, being undisputed at 47, 54, 60 and 68 man I he's going to do that you just look at those he's one of those fighters man you be like yeah he got it you just look at Sugar Ray Leonard and you be like you just knew it like okay he was gonna be great Floyd Mayweather Muhammad Ali Marvin Hagler Tommy Hearns all of those fighters man they got that thing about him and Jerron Ennis got that thing a lot of people might be too scared to come on this platform and uh, make a video like this but man when you got that offer boxing you can just see when somebody is special, and I'm confident. And if I'm wrong, like, I'll come on here and I'll admit it, but I'm confident in that dude's future, man. I'm confident in his skills. It's going to be hard to be him, man. Like, he's one of a kind. So I just had to make this video, man. This video was on my heart. I've been wanting to make a video like this, and I'm just happy that I finally um, got around to doing it, man. One of the best fighters in the world, and... He is the future, and now he's uh, number one in the IBF rankings, man. So he's coming for those belts. Of course, Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford is going to happen next, and the winner is going to go up to 54. They might both just go up to 54. So um, after that fight happened, man, this is uh, Jerron Ennis. Um, that's going to be his division, man, and he's going to uh, be here for a very, very long time. So uh, I want to know what you guys think about Jerron Ennis, and where do you have him ranked like, as far as – best fighters in the world and how do you think his future is going to go how many weight classes do you think he's going to move up in and where do you think he's going to stop at and who do you think his toughest fight is going to be do you think it's going to be Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford and it's crazy because he's only 24 years old and him versus Errol Spence right now and him versus Terrence Crawford right now are both 50 50 fights man that's how great he is and I know in one of my videos recently, man, I wanted to, uh, it was, ver it was in the Canelo versus Bivol recap. I said how Canelo and Errol Spence were the two best, um, body punchers in boxing. Yes. I'm, I, when I went back and looked at that, I'm like, man, you forgot somebody. Uh, Jerron Ennis is definitely in that category, man. So I had to correct that. But anyways, man, that's going to be it for this video. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch me. It means a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one.